Hello guys, welcome back to a new part of Android tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about how to create an Android service using Messenger. If you want the service to work with different process, then you can create that service interfaces using the Messenger. This is one of the easiest way of creating inter-process communication in Android. Here the steps for step you have to done on this server on this service side. First thing you have to implement a handler that receives all the messages sent by the client. Next thing next thing you have to do is to create an object of messenger using that handler object. And the final thing you, you need to done on the service side is to create an iBinder object using that messenger and send back that iBinder object to the client from the on bind of the service. Now these are the things you need to do on the client side. Instantly the messenger object using an uh, using the iBinder object and create a message and send that message to the service using the messenger object. Okay, now I am going to explain all these concepts with a com complete working example. Okay, create a new project and add a button for starting the service. Again, add other button for stopping the service. And again, add another button for invoking that service. Now go to the XML layout. Here is the text of the first button. I change it into start service start service ok now I am going to change the width of the button into match parent and now create an on click method for this button android on click name the method as start method and this is the second button also change the width of the second button as match parent change the text of the second button as stop service and create a non click method for the second button called uh, stop method and here is the third button change the text of the button as invoke service invoke service now create an on click method android on click android on click <coughs> name the method as invoke method invoke method and change the width of the button as match parent now save it ok now the three buttons are created for starting and stopping and invoking the service <coughs> now on the main activity here I am going to create all that three method first method is start method public void start method uh, this is the on click listener for the first button and of course it have it must have a view view argument import package for view now add the second method second on click method for the button public void stop method it also needed that view object view view argument and here is the third method public void invoke method invoke method ok I just create all the on click method for the buttons save it save the project and now I am going to create the service so right click the package 
So right click the package and choose the new option and click choose a new class option and name the class as my service I name the class as my service and browse for a super class and search, search for the service service class choose the service employee dot app and click finish click ok and finally click finish okay now the class is created that extends the service and here is the override method called on bind that will return an ibinder object to the client okay now I'm going to create an handler a class for extending the handler so class message handler message handler and make the class extends handler need to import some packages here import package for handler uh, now create a method for handling the message called uh, public void handle message handle message and it, it has an argument of message class so message msg we need to import package for message also okay now create an object of messenger here that messenger is used to, to create that ibinder object so messenger messenger uh, I name it as messenger messenger equal to new messenger new messenger and pass an object of that inner class called uh, message handler that extends that handler okay just create an object of messenger using that handler now return that ibinder object so by using that messenger object messenger dot get binder this will return an ibinder object to the client okay now we finished now now I'm going to create method for handling the message from the client so here I'm going to create an integer int uh, in I name it as say hello say hello equal to one and create a switch case switch statement switch and msg dot what by providing msg dot what okay open the braces for switch, switch statement here now provide the first case case this actually that integer values which uh, say hello uh, is missing say hello something got wrong here say hello so there is no suggestions because something errors are available here so here it is int say hello so I, I, I change it as static final int say hello and uh, case oh, okay say hello we need to make it as static and final provide the colon here and print the message using toast toast dot make text toast dot make text uh, get the base context and print the message here hello from the hello from the service mother service hello from the service and provide the duration for the toast toast dot uh, make the length as long and now make the toast visible using show method now provide break for the case ok now provide the default option default default I calling the super class method super dot super dot handle message handle messages handle message and 
pass that object of message okay save it okay now we successfully caught all the caught segments of the service and now go to the main activity now here I'm going to create that service connection object service connection service connection M connection equal to new service connection equal to equal to uh, new service connection this new service connection okay so we got two override method called uh, on service connected and uh, on service disconnected so for check checking the service is binded or not I create a boolean variable called a boolean status this is for checking whether the service is started or not I initialize it as false and now whenever the service is binded that means whenever the service is connected uh, I change the value of that status into true so before I have to create an object of messenger so messenger m messenger equal to null I initialize that object with a null now go to the on service connected method and initialize that messenger object here m messenger equal to and initialize the messenger object using that ibinder object here service is the ibinder object and messenger is equal to new messenger new messenger and here the ibinder object is service service and change the value of status into true because now the service is connected ok save it so whenever the service is disconnected I have to reset the value of messenger into null so m messenger equal to null also change the value of status so there is no need to do here so now I have to start the service on the start method so here I'm going to start the service using so first I have to create intent object so uh, before doing anything further we have to register the service on the manifest file so go to the android manifest.xml file and register the service here so service uh, service Android name equal to provide the class name of the service so dot that class name is my service and provide that class name my service okay save it now we register the service on the android dot manifest file now go to the main activity dot java file now I am going to start the service so create an indent object indent i is equal to new indent new indent first provide a context it's no indent new no indent here we got we need two arguments first one is the context I give it as this and second one is that class name of that service my service dot this dot class we create an indent object here so you need to import indent here okay save it now I'm going to bind the service so bind service as we have to provide that indent object and connection object and provide a flag here uh, so context dot context dot uh, context dot bind auto create okay now I successfully bind the service here using the bind service method 
and uh, change the value of status into true because now the service is started true and and display a message here using toast so get the base context I change it into application context maybe it, I change it into application context and provide a message here service uh, service service successfully started service successfully started okay and provide the duration for the toast toast dot uh, make this uh, I change the length of the toast as long and make the toast visible using show method okay now save it and here is the stop method and on stop method I'm going to change the value of the messenger object m connection sorry connection object into null and uh, change the status into change the status into false okay